Hi guys, welcome to this year's Christmas special where I'm going to show you how to make an amuse and four courses for your ultimate Christmas dinner. And today I'm going to show you the amuse. We're going to make an eel beignet. For that, first I'm going to show you how to clean an eel. Then we're going to use the bones to make an eel broth and turn that into a delicious eel jelly and a beignet batter. The hot beignet we're serving with some thinly sliced eel, a citrus gel and some caviar. So, let's begin. All the recipes in this video are for around 40 beignets. Take a sharp filleting knife and make an incision behind the head. Then turn the knife horizontal and cut the fillet off along the central spine. Apply pressure to the eel and the knife to ensure you waste as little fish as possible. Then take the fillet off the eel and turn the eel around. Now repeat the same thing we just did on the other side. Keep all the trimmings for later. Once that's done, cut away the belly membrane. This is the darker part. Then use your fingers to gently press the skin of the fish. If necessary use your knife, but otherwise only use your fingers, because the fish will damage quite easy. Also keep the skin for later. When the skin is removed, turn the fillets with the pink side up and use a spoon to scrape away any fat. Now you'll have some beautiful clean smoked eel. Then take a long sharp knife and trim the fin sides. Keep them for later. The remaining thick fillets you can portion into thin slices. Then transfer them on a tray and keep them in your fridge for later. All the trimmings you can cut into small cubes, also known as brunoises. Keep those as well in your fridge for later. Now for the eel broth. First cut four slots in half and clean them. Now chop them. Then add a drizzle of oil to a saucepan and glaze the shallots. Meanwhile cut the eel trimmings in smaller pieces and add them to the pan. Pan fry it on a medium heat for a couple of minutes and then deglaze the pan with one liter of fish stock. Also add two bay leaves and let it simmer for at least three hours. After that pass the broth through a fine sieve and let it drip for a couple of minutes to be sure you don't waste a single drop. Then transfer it back into the pan and let it reduce till it's 350 grams. Meanwhile use a ladle to remove any fat that's floating on top. You'll end up with a delicious rich eel broth. Then for the eel batter. First transfer 300 grams of Jerusalem artichokes into a pan that's filled with water and season it with salt. Now boil them till cooked. Then drain the water. After that, cut them in half and when still hot, gently press the skin off the meat. Transfer the skins on a tray that's lined with a silicon sheet and let them dry at 60 degrees Celsius. After that, deep fry them at 180 degrees Celsius, till golden and crispy. I'm not using them in this video, so you have to keep them dry and covered for the main course. Don't forget to season them with salt. Now back to the batter. Transfer 150 grams of the cooked Jerusalem artichoke meat into a measuring cup and also add 180 grams of the eel broth, 4 grams of salt and 2 whole eggs. Um, yeah, don't judge my egg action. Then blend this to completely smooth. Once it's smooth, pour it into a bowl and add 240 grams of flour and 30 grams of cornstarch. Mix it till it's a smooth mixture and then directly stop to prevent too much gluten from forming. Now transfer the batter into a siphon and charge it with two charges. Shake it well and then let it rest in your fridge for at least 4 hours. I always leave it overnight. Then for the eel jelly. First soak one leaf or 1.6 grams of gelatin in cold water. Meanwhile mix 150 grams of the eel broth with 1 gram of agar powder and bring it to a boil for 1 minute. Then spray a thin layer of oil spray on two metal trays. Once the liquid has boiled, dissolve your gelatin and pour 65 grams of the jelly on each tray. If necessary, use a blowtorch to remove any air bubbles. Then gently put the trays in your fridge and let them set completely. After, cut the jelly with a small round cutter and keep them covered for later. Now for the citrus gel. I still had some beautiful citrus in the fridge, but you can use any mix you like. Here I use Sudashi, Chinoto, Shiwasa and Tiger Lemon. In total you'll need 150 grams of juice. Then also add 80 grams of water, 20 grams of ginger syrup, 80 grams of sugar, 4 grams of agar powder 
and 2 grams of gelon powder. Now mix this well and then bring it to a boil for 1 minute. Then pour it in a bowl and let it cool down completely. After that transfer it into a blender and blend it till it's a smooth gel. Then keep it in your fridge for later. Now we can start to finish the muse. First let a small ladle heat up in some oil that's 180 degrees celsius. Then fill the ladle halfway with the batter. Add a tablespoon of the Ile Brunoise and cover it completely with the batter. Then submerge the ladle completely in the oil and let the beignet deep fry until golden brown on both sides. You can deep fry a couple of beignets at a time. Just be sure the ladle doesn't become too cold, otherwise the beignets will stick to the ladle. You can also pre-fry them and heat them up in an oven at 190 degrees celsius for 3 minutes when you want to serve them. But it's still best to deep fry them just before serving them. Now lay a beignet on a small plate and drizzle some citrus gel on top. Then place 3 slices of the eel on there and cover it with the eel jelly. This is optional, but you can also add a nice dot of caviar. Then pipe 3 small dots of the gel on there and it's ready to be served. Ok guys, that's it for today. Super happy with the result. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I already ate a couple and they are really super, super delicious. Um, I love the fact that it's warm, the eel on the inside gives a little bit of a texture which is really nice. The freshness of the citrus gel, yeah, it combines really great with the caviar, the fattiness of the eel and the little eel jelly on top, yeah, it just gives, uh, it brings it to the next level, let's say it like that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this one as well. Mm. Yeah, it falls apart, but other than that, you can see the eel. Mm. Super delicious. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'm so sorry. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'm going to upload all the other Christmas videos in the upcoming week so you guys can prep it at home and maybe give it a trial already. Um, please let me know in the comments on what you want to see next. I already filmed all my Christmas videos, so I'm not going to change that, but then I know it for next year or maybe for after Christmas. And as always, bon appétit!